Hi everyone, I'm Brian Simpson, the founder of Chandra Me and the inventor of the candle maker. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful scented soy candle using the candle maker. It doesn't matter if you've never made candles before, you're going to get a great result, a beautiful silky smooth top and a great scent throw. You don't need any other equipment other than what you see before you here. I'm going to take you through it. Let's get into it. I'm going to take you through how to make your first candle. So in your starter pack you'll receive the machine of course and the pitcher or jug as we call it elsewhere in the world. You'll also receive a pack of pre-measured ingredients. Now this is the secret sauce behind Chandra and me. So we source the best products in the world to go into your candles. You know there's a real science behind making a candle. It's about getting the best ingredients, getting the temperatures right and getting just the right amount of each ingredient in there. We'll go through that a little bit later. Let's look at what you get in the pack. You're going to get a pre-measured bag of, as I say, premium grade soy wax, some high quality fragrance oil, the one you chose when you made your order. You've got a cotton wick, um, zinc and lead free, really good quality wick that's matched to your jar. More about that later. And a little accessory for holding your wick. So that's the pack that you get with your ingredients. And of course you also get the jar that you chose and there's a big range of uh, really lovely jars on the website. So that's all you need to make a beautiful soy candle. The first thing you want to do is power your machine on. So you plug the unit in and you just simply to turn it on put the pitcher onto the machine. Machine's now on, we know it's on because the lights are flashing, it's asking us to do something. And the first thing we're going to do is add our soy wax. So again, this bag of soy wax is exactly measured to fit this jar. So if you've ordered this pack and you're tempted to use it on a bigger jar that you've got sitting around the house, it's not going to work. This pack works with this jar. We've done all the science for you, we've made it so easy for you. Simply put all the wax in and press the first button. Now what that's going to do is going to take you through a melt process. Now as I say there's a science behind making a candle. It's not just oh let's melt it and once it's all melted we'll um, throw some fragrance in and see what happens. We have to get this melted to the exact temperature and that's what's programmed into the candle maker. It's going to take it to exactly the right temperature that you need to add the fragrance. So we're going to let that do its work. We're going to come back soon and do the next stage. Okay, we'll show you an overhead shot and you'll see that the wax is pretty much melted now and the machine is stirring it intermittently as well. Now the beauty of the candle maker is you can be doing anything else around the house while you're making a candle. Unlike a double boiler or stovetop method, you don't have to be constantly checking for boiling water, checking temperatures, stirring the wax. It's doing, the machine is doing it all for you. So it's been going for about five minutes now. The first stage when you're making one candle of this size takes about 10 minutes. So we'll check in shortly and we'll uh, be ready to add our fragrance. We're back and the machine is beeping and the light is flashing. Um, that's the add fragrance light. So that means it's time to add our beautiful fragrance. Now this wax is now at the optimal temperature for adding fragrance. Really important in the science of candle making. If you add fragrance when, it's, uh, when the wax is too hot, you can really damage the delicate notes in the fragrance. So we've put the science into the machine so you don't have to worry. You don't have to try and figure out what your temperatures should be, um, when you should pour. We've done it all for you. So I've got here uh, exactly the right amount of fragrance for our recipe for this jar. Again, that's very important. So, and another thing you don't need to worry about, we've done all the testing for you. The fragrance is uh, highly purified, it's phthalate free, it's as, as natural as you can get for a candle without being an essential oil and it's designed specifically for our candle recipes to give a great scent throw and to mix well with the wax. So it comes to you again as I say perfectly pre-measured. This is um, sandalwood and spice. Beautiful earthy tones. So I'm just going to go ahead and pour the whole lot in there Please don't be tempted to just put a couple of drops and save the rest for later. You've got to get the exact recipe. So in goes the fragrance. Now it's really critical to mix the fragrance with the wax so that 
it binds the fragrance into the wax molecules. This is critical for your scent throw. So we're going to now go into the stirring mode. Press that button once we've put our fragrance in. This is going to stir your wax and fragrance for two minutes. The optimal time to, uh, to stir. And we'll be back in um, about another 10 minutes when it's time to pour your candle. In the meantime, I'm going to teach you how to wick your jar. We have a cotton wick, 100% cotton, no zinc, no lead, uh, very natural wick. And this wick is sized perfectly to our jar. So we've matched the wick for you, we've tested it in the chandlery, so you know you've got exactly the right wick. All we have to do now is put it in the jar, and the way to do that is that they come with a, um, a sticky tab. Peel that off. Take your jar, aim for the middle. Don't worry if you don't get it 100% right, but near enough is good enough. And just press that down nice and firm. If you haven't got long fingers like me, you can just use the wick holder to push down on that tab. There it is. The last thing you do is you want to hold the wick in the center, so we use a wick holder for that. Just feed your wick through there. You want to get the wick nice and taut, so we just give it a little bit of tension, fold that over, and I just like to tuck it over there like that. You could get a peg maybe, peg it on there, but really that's all you need to do. And that jar is now ready to pour. That's how you wick the jar. Okay, now time for the, uh, for the grand pour. So the process so far has taken about 20 minutes. That's to make one candle. As I mentioned earlier, the wax has now cooled down to the optimal temperature for pouring to our jar. The only other temperature thing you want to think about is what the ambient temperature of your room is, because once we pour this candle, it's going to be all about managing the cool down and the set. Now, we know it's time to pour because the pouring icon is illuminated and the machine is beeping. The machine will stay, or the candle maker will stay like this until you come back to it. So again, if you're doing other things around the house, you don't have to worry about checking on it all the time. It's going to wait for you. If you forget you're making a candle altogether and you leave the house and you go shopping, don't worry, it has a safety shut off. So after two hours, the machine will shut down. Let's show you how to pour a candle. Gently lift the pitcher and slowly but surely aim for the middle. Not too fast, not too slow. You don't want to create any air bubbles. The good thing about our pre-measured kits is they give you exactly the right amount of fragrance and wax. So there's no waste. Every last drop goes into your candle. That's how you do it. So here we go folks, we've poured our candle and now it's really important to just let it sit uh, while, it, while it sets. So think about where you're going to put this jar before you pour it, because you really don't want to move it once you've poured it. The other thing I want to mention, another little tip, is if you're pouring on a bench top that's made of stone or anything that's going to suck the heat out of the, out of the candle, because remember it's all about managing temperature. What we're doing now is managing the cool down temperature. So I've got an ambient room here, 21 degrees. I've got my candle on a wooden bench top, but if you are on a stone bench top, put something underneath the candle, otherwise that stone's just gonna suck all the heat out. So really important. Um, obviously don't put it in a place where it could be interfered with by children or pets. And just let it cool down nice and slowly. Don't be tempted to put it in the fridge, that won't work. Um, just let it cool down naturally. Um, it will take a few hours to solidify, but it'll take a few days to fully cure. So I know you're probably excited to light your candle and smell how beautiful it is, but let it fully cure for two or three days at least. Um, and that's going to give you the best results with your scent throw. So I just want to thank you for watching this video on how to make a soy candle using the candle maker. It's actually the first uh, and what we hope will be a series of many that shows you just how easy it is to use the candle maker. We'll go into different modes, different sizes, different products you can make and how we've made it so easy for you. If you've got questions or anything you want us to cover or you want me to cover as the inventor of the candle maker, just drop me a note and um, I'll see what I can do. See you in our next video.